please like and subscribe and please click the notification bell. Hi guys, kumusta kayo? So it's another hot summer day here in the Philippines. So today, uh, we're gonna talk about anong mga tips na kailangan gawin or kailangan tignan kung bibili kayo ng segunda manong sasakyan or second hand car. So ako normally, uh, when I look for a second hand car, whether it's on Facebook or a site that sells second hand cars, I was, besides the photos, titignan ko rin yung details ng owner kung kompleto. Meaning, Registered ba yung car? The mileage of the car? If there are issues, dapat nilalagay nila dun yung issues ng kotse. Whether major or minor, dapat honest yung seller kung may issues nga yung car. Tapos of course, kung uh, is it a first owner or second, uh, second or third owner car. So mga stuff like that. Tapos kapag decided ka na na you've picked certain cars that you want to buy, uh, you call the owner and set an appointment. So... Para alam mo, when you go there, na you're prepared to to check the car. Uh, you know, check it properly. Kasi sometimes, like me personally, pag medyo excited na ako, sometimes I tend to forget uh, checking everything. So then you buy the car, then yung pala, after a few days or a week or so, hindi ka na happy. Kasi nga, you didn't really check the car properly. Before you even go to the location where the car is, if I were you, uh, always bring a mechanic, a trusted mechanic, and a mechanic that has an OBD scanner para mas scan yung kotse. So that's also one thing kasi physically, yeah, you could check the car all you want, you know, everything, pero importante meron, meron ka rin OBD scanner. Tsaka kung the car that you like, kung the owner allows you to lift the car para makita kung may leaks underneath, also to check also the suspension that would be also good besides test driving the car of course so i'll show you uh, in this video how to you know look at certain things in the car para you make the right decision when buying a second hand car so now we're gonna talk about ano ba titignan natin kung bibilita ng second hand uh, kotse o segunda manong sasakyan so this one is a 2007 toyota camry which i got last year so i made a video about it if you check my channel uh, there are two videos about this car actually so pag-usapan natin kung ano titignan so normally titignan natin yung exterior the interior tapos tignan natin yung makina and of course we'll do a test drive di ba kung okay ba yung car kung may mga tunog ba sa suspension meron bang lag ba sa sa transmission niya Diba? So, titignan na natin lahat yun. So, of course, you look at the exterior of the car. Diba? Mukhang bago pa. To think, it's a 13-year-old car. So, I'll show you tips on how to check a second-hand car. Kasi na yun, you know, because car prices are, you know, getting higher and higher every year. Diba? Medyo mahal ang kotse because of technology and all that. So, it's also a viable option to buy a second-hand car. As long as marunong ka tumingin, of course, now you could you could search online on how to look for a good second-hand car and if it's reliable, diba? Yun yung importante yun. In the Philippines, diba, kailangan natin ng reliable na sasakyan always kasi because of traffic conditions also. So, normally a lot of people, they buy Toyota, Mitsubishi, Honda, Nissan, uh, Isuzu because uh, availability of parts also. Tapos hindi pa masyad, masyado mahal ang piyesa. So, we're going to talk about all of these things and I'm going to show you what to look at kapag bibili kayo ng second hand car. Kung napili nyo na yung second hand car na gusto nyo sa internet, 
Tapos, you're about to take a trip to look at the car. So, let's say, for example, ito yung kotse. So, una, titignan nyo yung exterior ng kotse. So, titignan nyo, di ba, yung paint, yung quality ng paint kung okay. So, pag mga black cars, may mga swirl marks yan. Pero okay lang yun kasi, that's very common. Pwede mo naman pa-detail. If ever you do purchase a car, pwede mo i-detail. Pag mo mukhang brand new na yung car. As long as hindi deep scratches or mga wala naman dense yung kotse. So, sa exterior, titignan mo yung mga panel gaps. So, mga gaps dito, kung aligned ba siya with all the, you know, the doors. So, yung gaps siya, see? Aligned siya. Pag hindi aligned yan, it could have been into a car accident. So, yan. Tignan mo yan. Tignan mo yung chrome. Like this, the like Camry, marami siyang chrome bits. So, tignan mo lahat yan kung maganda pa yung, yung shine ng pagka-chrome niya. Tapos, of course, here sa tires, to look at tires naman, I'll show you. Ang tires, there's a date there. So, if you look at this, it says 0619. So, 2019 yung tires niya. So, medyo bago pa. It's only a year old. So, mga tires, guys, maximum of 5 to 6 years and you should replace the tires. So, yan. Tignan nyo yung gulong kung okay pa yung gulong. Diba? Look at the back. Of, of course, also the tint of the car kung okay pa. The rear lights, kung walang basag or you know, it like this one, wala namang basag, wala namang deep scratches or anything like that. Even the even this one, I look if it's aligned properly. The gas tank. So, aligned naman siya. Everything. And I also look at kung, kasi sometimes common siya, nababasag siya pag some, somebody hits it sa parking area. So, ito wala namang basag, di ba? Tapos, even the logos, the VVTI logos are nice and clean. The mags are still nice. Even the headlights, they're nice and clear. The grill. So sometimes ito, this is common, na, natatanggal to sometimes. Due to wear and tear na rin. Pero okay pa siya, see. Now, tignan natin naman yung makina ng kotse. So this one in particular, mukhang malinas, diba? So, but of course, you still have to look at yung mga liquids ng kotse. So, ang brake fluid, dapat nice and clear yan. So, yun yung brake fluid. That's a brake fluid reservoir. So, dapat clear yan ang fluid nun sa loob. So, titignan mo. And of course, tignan mo rin yung langis. So, you check the oil kung it has a nice uh, golden color naman. So, and see also kung nasa tamang level yung oil. So, this one is a little over the maximum, which is fine. Diba? So, tignan natin. See? Dapat walang halong coolant yan or anything. Dapat it's just oil. So, if you could smell it a little, dapat it smells like langis. Langis lang. So, yan. Balik natin. Tapos, you could also check the inside of the engine. So, if you take out the cap, Dapat oil lang sa loob niyan. So as you can see. Yan. So it's just oil inside. Dapat ganun. Dapat walang halong coolant to. Kasi kung may halong coolant yan, then you have a head gasket problem. There's a leak in your head gasket. So yun. Tapos your coolant dito should be nice and pink in color. So, this one. So, this is the Toyota coolant. It's pink. So, yan. Dapat pink siya. And it's in the right level. Same goes with your power steering fluid. So, it has that nice color there. So, dapat hindi burnt smell or anything like that. So, there. Power steering fluid. Your coolant. Your washer fluid here. Just check. If may mga leaks dito sa side, sa mga valve cover gaskets dito, so, if you can see here, for this car in particular, kung may mga leaks yan, I mean, it's not a, it's not naman a deal breaker, pero, of course, 
kailangan palit, palitan yan kagad because you don't ha- want to have any leaks sa makina mo. So, that's very, very important. So, no leaks dapat yan. There. So, just look around. And, of course, ito, make sure that the hood shocks are still good. So, ito okay pa. Even the heat insulation sa hood, okay. Buo pa siya. Wala siyang tears or anything like that. Diba? And if you could take the the engine cover, that would be also good just to see the engine better. It would just take your time to inspect. Sometimes kasi pag, like me, pag gusto, gusto ko yung kotse, sometimes I forget to check everything. Tapos parang gusto ko na kunin yung kotse. Pero of course, you have to control yourself and take your time. Diba? Very important yan. Then, you could also ask the previous owner kung kailan niya pinalitan yung battery. Kasi medyo mahal ang battery. So, just ask them kung when was the last time he changed the battery or she changed the battery at saka yung warranty ng battery. Tapos, even the relay and fuse box, check mo na rin. So, here, when I got this car, wala siyang leaks or anything like that. Of course, pinadita na yung makina, pero okay lang yun. I mean, that's good. Kaysa naman yung dead. It, it doesn't have to be super clean, but clean enough. Tapos here, also check kung may mga cracks dito sa, what do you call this? Uh, engine support. The upper engine support to, of the engine. So, check mo yan. Kasi medyo mahal ang engine support. So, mga things that you think kailangan palitan, you could always haggle the price. Diba? Kasi sabi mo sa kanya na kailangan mo palitan to, ganito, ganyan. And if he's willing naman, then fine. If, if he's willing to go down in price, he's good. Diba? So, yan. Normally, yan ang titignan mo. And also, check mo na rin kung may leak underneath the car. Diba? Kung may mga leaks siya. Kung wala naman leaks, that's good. But also, to make sure na wala leaks, also, start the car and make sure na walang nagdi-drip na oil. Just to be sure. So guys, now that we're in the interior of the car, here are the tips to check the interior, diba? So we're gonna look at how it starts first. So let's start the car. So there you go. So make sure everything works. So the fuel gauge, if it um, pairs well with the range of the digital range, so more or less tama siya, right? Tapos check mo rin yung temperature. Dapat more or less nasa gitna ang temperature gauge ng kotse. A little under half is okay. Wag lang yung three-fourths up. Kasi that means that there's a problem with the cooling system of the car. Then also check the RPM. So yung RPM, normally dapat it's under 1,000 RPM. So it can play from, let's say, seven to 900 RPM. So that's, see? So it's on idle. So it's, you know, properly on idle. So tama yon. So everything works. You can even rev the car to see that the RPM works. Tapos, also check the aircon. Alam mo, in the Philippines, di ba, napaka-init. So, check the aircon. Check the blower. Tapos, dapat, in a few seconds, malam- malamig na dapat yung aircon. So, you could feel it. So, it's really hot now. Summer na nga sa Pilipinas. So, kailangan, in a few seconds, malamig na dapat yan. It shouldn't take that long. If it takes too long, that means there's maybe a leak on in the aircon system. It could be the evaporator could be the problem with the compressor itself which is a costly repair so if meron issues naman dyan, you could always talk to the owner to fix the issues before you purchase or bawasan yung presyo para mapalitan mo yung aircon system kasi aircon system costs a lot of money especially the labor also kasi they have to remove the dashboard if they have to replace the evaporator normally the evaporator of the car somewhere here so yun then check the stereo if it works. The volume, the the speakers and stuff like that. So like that. So it works. All the buttons. Press all the buttons if if they work. The kung yung stereo niya, yung tune, the AM, the FM, everything. And the aircon, yeah, check all. All the gauges if they work. All the buttons. So the fan speed. Yeah, check mo. Check mo even the the gauge if 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 not for follow siya dun when you turn the knob. So check mo yan. And also check yung 
front and rear defogger. And check everything here for the Camry. This is for the rear sunshade. So when you press it, dapat magfa-follow yan, di ba? So later I'll show you. So dapat yan. Then you, even the light, uh, the where you plug your your um, lighter here, see? Dapat it works also. So dapat everything opens and closes smoothly, di ba? And check also the gear, the automatic gear, if, see, if there's no stock up. Para if you make sure that the shifter cable is not broken. So, yan. And just check the quality. So, this one, the wood. See, it's still nice. Walang cracks. Walang tears or anything like that. And the cup holder. And check the dashboard. Diba kung may mga cracks siya. Check the ceiling. Kung nagsasag na ba yung ceiling ng kotse. Kasi that easily can cost 7 to 9,000 pesos. Depending on the car. How big the car is. So even check the handles. Check the side doors. The trims. You know, check the handles here. The chrome handles. Even this. Kung faded na ba siya. Then also check all the windows if they all work. So like this one. Everything works. Pag automatic, dapat, di ba, they all work. Even the side mirror. Check the folding mechanism kung gumagana siya. So, these are the things you should check. Di ba, the buttons, the seats, also check the quality of the seats. Like, if it's a Camry or a mid-size sedan, like a Honda Accord, check mo kung gumagana yung rear sunshade, like this one. So, gumagana siya. It's very important because this can cost money if you need to repair them. So maganda when you buy a unit, all of it works. I mean, no second-hand car is perfect, but you want it to be at least um, in good condition. But you don't want to buy a second-hand car and you have to put so much work into it, unless you're buying a project car. But that's different. But if you want to buy a second-hand um, reliable car that you could could use everyday kagad then these are the things that you look for ako talaga aircon sabi ko nga in the Philippines sobrang init so kailangan malakas yung aircon mo which not all cars have strong aircons that's the truth I mean there are some cars that are sobrang mahal pero yung aircon system is very weak and sometimes it's the design I don't I really don't know but there are cars like that so yun then after you check all the interior, diba? the interior, everything, then we'll do a test drive. So, guys, pag chinek mo na yung kotse na gusto nyo, so yung exterior, interior, okay na siya, then do a test drive. Yan ang final step. So, do a test drive. So, wag may on yung radio para marinig nyo kung meron tunog yung suspension. Kasi, Suspension can be expensive depending on the parts kung shock absorber, stabilizer, leak, mga ganun. So, tignan nyo. So, drive on smooth and uneven roads. Kung may humps, drive over humps. Para, then, try to listen to it. Tapos, dapat walang vibration yung car on idle. Kasi kung meron siyang vibration, it could be your engine support. Diba? So, yan. Check mo lang. Just drive around. Tapos, of course, yung aircon. But try to play with the blower kung, you know, the maximum and the minimum. Basta lagi dapat malamig yung aircon mo. So yun lang. Then, once you, maybe, it, maybe around 10 minutes, i-drive mo yung kotse para, you know, you get used to the car. At the same time, kung comfortable ka, when you're happy with how the car drives, then dun mo na kausapin yung owner and try to haggle the price. Of course, all prices are negotiable naman. Importante is you know the market value of the car. Tapos kung medyo matas yung asking niya, kung okay naman yung condition ng kotse, then try to ask for a little discount para at least fair on both sides. Pero kung maraming aayusin, then I'd rather walk away and look for another unit. I mean, be patient na lang. Diba? It, uh, it takes time to really buy a second-hand car. Diba? Medyo kailangan mo ng konting pasensya at panahon 
para hanapin yung kotse para sa'yo. So yun lang, after test drive, then if you're happy, then make an offer. So thanks for watching the video, thanks for watching my channel, and uh, I hope uh, you continue watching. Uh, after the ECQ, after the lockdown, I'll do more car videos and food uh, reviews, of course. So yeah, I have a couple of cars in line already, so just watch out for them. So just always keep safe and take care, guys.